How do? Beautiful day. Main man Stephen, there's a nice breeze here. Just let him have a chill. So today I'm going to talk about Cashman. Um, if you don't know who he is, pin comment and in the description I will put a link to an article. Um, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about it in two parts. He's just got 42 years, I believe, uh, for murder. I'm going to talk about what potentially is going to happen to him now, how he will be treated in prison. And then the second part, I'm going to talk about, for an educational, from an educational view, how he will have been managed in prison and why. How, how the prison service staff manage people like this. Uh, firstly, thanks for everyone who support the channel, guests, past, present and future. Two o'clock Sunday, long content, hopefully... 7 p.m. Monday, bank holiday Monday, I'll have some long content as well. Quite shocking. Um, thanks for everyone who supports me on Patreon, everyone who's bought me a brew. Let's talk about this guy. So he's just got 42 years. It's beautiful up here, guy. I'm going to admire the scenery for some of you that don't manage to get out. So he's just got 42 years. Uh, he's been housed at Strangeways, prison I used to work at. So where will he go? So there's a lot of speculation. Um, the high security estate comprises a lot of prisons. Um, you know, they're spread out throughout the country. Uh, up this neck at Woods, you've got like Full Sutton, Monster Mansion, HMP Wakefield, so-called because of the, the type of prisoners it holds. And then obviously down south, London Way, you've got Belmarsh, Milton Keynes, you've got Wood, Hill and the like. Dispersal prison, long-term prisons. Um, specifically designed for holding Cat A prisoners. The most uh, highly secure rating or uh, prisoners that need to be kept in the most secure conditions, yeah? Cat A status is deemed by the Home Office, police and other agencies. A very high profile person might be deemed Cat A for that reason only. Uh, potential serial killers, uh, terrorists and the like, people who pose a serious threat to the public will be kept in the most serious and secure conditions. So he could go to any of these jails. Firstly, he is a child killer. Um, he won't be highly regarded. Uh, he might well have been connected. However, once he goes to prison, he will be on his own. Uh, for me, the fact that he's, he's been at strange ways and the type of murder, uh, I potentially, if I was in charge of moving him, would move him to Monster Mansion, HMP Wakefield. Uh, there's plenty of people like that there, child killers, murderers, paedophiles, rapists, you know, all manner all manner of people housed in that jail. Just excuse the train, guys. Currently, he's the highest profile prisoner in the prison estate. Uh, will he be a target? It quite definitely depends where he goes. You know, um, he could be moved to a jail, put in a segregation unit. He could be put on a small unit. He could be put on normal location in any high security jail. I don't think he will be. Uh, like I said, Monster Mansion, the type of crime, potentially he will land there. However, you know, I've worked up close and personal with people of this type. It's not nice for prison officers. You know what someone's in for, you know what they've done. Um, you give them what they're entitled to. There is some interactions or whatever. There's no percentage though, it's not nice. You know, I have grown to hate people. Uh, Mark Bridger, point and fact, he was another child killer. Uh, 10 months, I worked with him, loosely speaking. He's at Monster Mansion now, I believe he's changed his name. Um, he went there. He was very full of himself, flat lad. However, a rapist, serial rapist at Monster Mansion decided that uh, he was gonna take Mark Bridger out and he pinned him down tried to cut his throat and kill him. You're always gonna be at risk. 
you know, potentially throughout his sentence, he'll come across somebody who knows who he is and potentially take him out. There's speculation he might go to Belmarsh. I don't see no point taking him to Belmarsh. For one, it's a long haul. And two, you know, um, it, it'd just be a pointless exercise. Uh, no prison really wants people of his sort of notoriety. Um, you've got to manage them. It can make it difficult with staff. If people know who they are, uh, people take offence to him. Like I say, initially, at the start of their sentence, once they've been to court, they can potentially end up in small units or in solitary confinement. Um, I've known prisoners who've been sentenced, like this guy Cashman, be on unlock protocols. That's for their own safety. So basically, they don't come out with any other prisoners. They will shower, exercise on their own, and they'll have a certain number of staff to get them out. Again, that's for their own safety. Will this guy, guy feel safe? Uh, I doubt very much. You know, uh, I'm sure the public at large, I just say throw him to the sharks. Put him on a wing, a normal location wing. People will soon realise who he is and someone would take him out quite definitely. Um, yeah, the lowest of low. Child killers. Okay, how will he have been managed? Well, when he landed at Strangeways, this lad, there is a few places he could have gone. He could have gone on the Cat A unit. I would have thought if it had been on there, depending who was on there, uh, he was going to get a hard time. Probably get destroyed. Um, the segregation unit, again, in solitary. But, you know, it can, it can cause an uproar in there once people realise who's housed with them. There is a VP cat a unit at strange ways when i say cat a unit what i mean it's a secure part of the prison that's been designated and approved to hold cat a prisoners other than going on exercise they don't need to leave or don't need to go outside other than being put on a secure vehicle yeah they can get healthcare, gym and everything within that unit or close by then there's the healthcare at Strange Ways. For me, he will have been located in the Segor healthcare because of the risk, the risk to him. You see, what the prison service doesn't want is somebody like him harming themselves and not going to court or being harmed by others before sentencing. Yeah? It's not protecting them. It's, it's just making sure that, as it were, the public has the day. Um, again, there's no percentage working with people like this. You know what they've done. Uh, it's very difficult. A lot, of, uh, a lot of bad memories around stuff like that. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Basically, most of the questions ask what will happen to him. Uh, he won't be thrown to the sharks. However, you know, he's always going to have a target on his back at some point. Uh, someone might well put up a reward if they haven't already to take him out and the like. But for me, if I was going to hazard a guess, I was in charge of prison service, he'd go to Monster Mansion. That don't mean he's safe though. Okay guys, hope you have the best weekend possible. Uh, difficult time for a lot of people I know. Um, the content over the weekend will be an ex-screw ex-prison officer talking about his experiences he started at a very young age and a young lady who has suffered domestic violence thanks for coming i'll see there